Hello, you're watching PDV Channel. I'm a journalist for Indian. Today is my honor to interview with the general manager of WeTag Europe. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Could you please introduce your company for us? Uh, welcome to our exhibition in Istanbul. This is Burak Boray from WeTag Europe. We are normally a Taiwanese company for uh, we established in uh, 1986. In 2013, we established VTech Europe, mm -hmm. parallel, in parallel to growing up all over the world, uh, because uh, we have many, many agents all over the world, but uh, in some areas, we have to need uh, our own offices, because it's much more easy to handle the areas, also for sales, but also for service support. Uh, would you like to share the machines you show in this time? Uh, in this exhibition, we have four systems. Uh, one is in our booth, it's working standalone. It's our new series W74. It's 20 kg payload and it's uh, applicable up to 1300 400 on machine. It's a four axis cyber driven system. And we have one of our uh, small range machines, W63, which is a 5 kg payload. And the other one, W65 series for 12 kg. And uh, in the other booth, we have a cooperation with another Taiwanese injection molding machine company, which is site entry for a uh, faster cycle below 4 or 5 seconds. So it's a fast uh, site entry robot. So hopefully, we are almost uh, exhibit our own type of uh, products. I developed the new uh, user interface of our new controller. And in this exhibition, in our booth, we just uh, exhibiting uh, our new controller. Actually, it's in a beta test for the moment. We have a customer they are using in the field. But uh, our plan is to release to customers maybe end of uh, second quarter of 2015. We developed this in three years. Not only user interface, also a new uh, ideas for controlling the robot because we are idea is uh, we want everybody, even they never use a robot, can program a robot easily yes. because it's a need for most of the customers because mainly, uh, especially the, the company is working in three shifts sometimes, in especially the night shift, they don't have uh, qualified or well-experienced uh, operators for the robot and when they are afraid to use the ro robot then it's not efficient for the customers so we make it very, very easy to make uh, simple programs mm -hmm. with just a few clicks. So we uh, designed this new uh, software and we got very, very good feedbacks and I hope we can release to customers very soon. Uh, would you like to share the best-selling product you have in this exhibition? Now we are focusing in the uh, Turkish market for, uh, for, for our first two years, first year. Especially we are responsible for Europe, but for the moment Turkish is a very growing market. And uh, especially when we consider 65% of injection molding machine has no robot in Turkey, roughly. And we can say last 3-4 uh, years, the automation needs are, are growing up uh, significantly. So for this pair, we can see that our 63 uh, series robot for 5 kg, which can be used from 100 ton machines up to 400, 500 ton machines is our best seller because most of the products in Turkey are smaller. Okay, we have very great automotive industry with big machines, but when we consider small products, white goods or electrical industry or medical industry, for sure below 500 ton machine is a big share of the all injection molding machines market. And this, this market, I can say 60% has no robot. So it's a good potential, so that's why our 5 kilogram robot is our best seller for generally and also for this fair. Our plan is actually to growing the automation, the plastic industry. We are not focusing only to selling a, a standard robot. We are focusing to increase the efficiency of the customer. For example, to take out part, but if there are some operations, post operations after the injection molding machine, this can be a cutting screw or this can be a small assembly or maybe uh, ultrasonic welding or whatever. If it's possible, we force customer to make it with the same robot. By doing this, when they pay only robots, but they don't need any other three axis or four axis system, just with the uh, additional small budget, they can make a production cell. Mm -hmm. So they can uh, save from one or sometimes two operator. For sure, they don't fire their operators, but they can use these operators much more efficiently. So with a low cost, low investment, best efficiency with best performance. This is our target.